Hey folks, how's it going? Uh, this is Mike, back for another video with uh, my glass of Yellowtail Merlot. Just got off work and I wanted to um, I wanted to uh, do a video for uh, Luke's thread. Luke is uh, Vinyl Flesh. That's a great screen name by the way. I wish I had thought of that before you did. <laughs> but um, the thread has to do with records dealing with nature either have nature on the cover or some of the artwork or the reminders of nature. So I thought it was a good idea and I'd like to join in. So here is my first record. This is one that goes back a long way. Judy Collins, Wildflowers. The Maid of Constant Sorrow, Out Among the Daisies in the Meadow. And uh, yeah, beautiful music, very sad, but you know, nice natural theme. And the second one Another one that goes back a long way. This is called, this is a group called Osibisa. Okay, this came out around 1970, I believe. And if you notice uh, the artwork, it's got all these, um, well, it's got flying elephants, as a matter of fact. Flying elephants and strange animals. Can you see that? Kind of reminds me of the way uh, Central Illinois used to look when I was a kid. Just kidding, not really, but... Anyway, interesting music. I've never met anybody else who has this record, so if anybody does or they know about Osirisa, um, I'd be interested in finding out. I used to play this. People would come over, and if I wanted to drive people out and I just wanted to be alone, I could put this record on, they would all leave, so nobody liked it. It's got this, it's uh, African slash Caribbean uh, music, a lot of drums. I think it's terrific, but apparently nobody else liked it. <laughs> so. Okay, uh, back to nature. This is this is Jim Post walking through the mountains in Colorado. I guess it's Colorado, but the album is called um, Colorado Exile, which is, uh, for those of you who don't know about Jim Post, he's a folk singer from Chicago. I don't know if he's still around or not. He was around in the 70s, and uh, great music. So, yeah, that's a great album, too. Uh, here's another couple of guys out in nature walking through the woods. This is uh, Simon and Garfunkel, Sounds of Silence, very old record, had it for a long, long time, and uh, yeah, it's in mono too, but uh, yeah, I'm sure they spent a lot of time walking through the woods, they look like it. Okay, dealing with nature, I thought, um, what, what could make you think of nature more than uh, The Four Seasons by Vivaldi, right? Okay, beautiful record, um, spring, summer autumn and winter and has a direct correlation to Four Seasons of Love by Donna Summer. Right? You see that connection, don't you? Huh? You understand that, right? <laughs> okay, I don't either. I think I'm delusional, but yeah, there's a lot of nature in this record, believe me. That 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 cover photo of Donna Summer is filled with nature, so okay. Uh, here's a cover of a record by John Abercrombie and uh, John Schofield, it's called Solar, and it's kind of an expressionistic photograph or painting, I guess, um, of a sunset. I just thought, yeah, it's really beautiful, yeah. Okay, and here's one, one of my favorite records, jazz record by Chick Corea and Return to Forever, which has a gorgeous cover, right? Is that peaceful or what? That is truly beautiful. And it's beautiful music as well. And here's a classical record, uh, Schubert Unfinished Symphony and Symphony No. 5. And it's got a great cover of a bird's nest. How cool is that, huh? That's nice. Okay. Uh, for those of you who like Wyndham Hill, come on, we all like Wyndham Hill, right? And this is a, an album called A Winter Solstice. A compilation of Wind, Wyndham Hill artists. Beautiful cover. Okay, and uh, another hippie back out in the woods. This is Stephen Stills and Manassas having dinner in the field. I'm sure they spent a lot of time doing that. But that's kind of cool. Here's an album by, this is another expressionistic cover, um, an album by Flora Purin called Nothing Will Be As It Was Tomorrow, right? And that's a beautiful, beautiful cover. Very strange, but uh, lots of nature going on there. Yeah, I like for any fan, any fans of uh, Flora Purim, right? 
This is terrific. Excuse me. Thank you. It was a rough night at work. Okay, here is the first album by Sergio Mendes and Brazil 66. And they're standing around the jungle. And if you look at those two beautiful women, I'm, I'm sure they spend a lot of time hanging around the jungle. But, uh, yeah, great cover, great music. Had that for a long time, too. Here is um, one of my favorite jazz albums. This is Blues Roots by the Dave Rubeck Trio featuring Jerry Mulligan. Came out around 1971, I believe. 1970, 71. And she shows uh, a train coming through the woods. Kind of a desolate scene. Yeah, fits with the music, too. Great, great blues and uh, jazz. Okay, and finally, all right, this is uh, this is a record by a guy named Gabriel Lee. Music for guitar. It's called the Impressions. It's got this gorgeous photograph of a sunset on the cover. Okay, so those are my albums about nature. So, Luke, thank you for the thread, and I hope you get a lot of responses. And uh, take care, folks. See you later.